Howdy ho friends, it's Michelle again, and today I have two Scentsy orders to share with you that I placed on August 1st. That's right, the very first day that the Fall Winter Catalog launched, I placed um, two pretty big orders, I'd say. I actually had a party that I was waiting to use the rewards to close out that party until the fall winter catalog launch and then i also placed another party order with rewards as well um you will see a little trend here as we talk about the wax i think i counted a total of 66 bars of wax um we'll talk about why there's a trend here when we're done with the wax but first i wanted to mention um <clears throat> Our recent warehouse, this is the first time they sent me these no sweat gel ice packs. And um, I would say they're not no sweat. One was soaking wet, which it's fine because it was still wrapped in this little like towel thing that has plastic to keep, you know, the moisture inside of it at least. Um, one was soaked. Um, so one of the orders had two ice packs and one order had one. The one that had one actually, I've never seen them do this, but um, you know, usually they put the ice packs in these bags with the wax. The one order though actually had the wax bars sealed in this and then this was sitting on top of it in the box. I mean, it probably, helped I guess uh, it was completely melted by the time I opened the box it did sit in the Sun for about six hours on my porch before I got home to bring it in um, but either way the wax was fine you know some of them looked a little um, s not sweaty but you know glistening they were a little glistening on top but they're fine. I don't think any of them melted, so all is well with that. Let's get started. We've got a lot to go through. I will try to talk about these quickly. Um, the first thing I got was two bars of the current scent of the month, Glacier Water. This is uh, Bright Bergamot, Aquatic Lavender, and Driftwood. I'm a sucker for lavender. But I know usually, not usually, but it can happen, I guess, sometimes, where bergamot and driftwood combine to be kind of a masculine scent. And to my nose, this, this definitely leans toward the masculine side on cold. But who knows? I, I may like it warm, so we shall see. I was just looking. Some It kind of looked a little glistening already still but it's been sitting in my house overnight so it's it's just a shiny bar i think anyway so that's those two and then i got um a six pack of licensed bars if you don't already know anytime you're buying wax the best deal is to go to that uh specials tab on my or your consultant's website and go to bundle and save the best deal for wax is six bars that way you buy five and you get one for free and the licensed bars are slightly different price so there is a separate uh, bundle and save for licensed products so first i got three more of wally classified and this is crisp apple watery cucumber dewy greens and a lot of people i'm watching are saying they get like uh like totally grass like walk outside and stick your head in the you know grass and that's what you smell i and my husband get quite a bit of the green apple note um so i i like this and so does my husband you know, I, I do get a little more grassy note on the bottom, but it's not so um, green that I am that I mind it. And I, and I usually don't like green scents, but I think I get, for me, enough ap green apple in this that I, I kind of like it. I don't think I'll put it in my club, but 
yeah, three bars. I might buy a few more if I place, not if I place, when I place another order. I'll actually be placing an order, of course, on Monday, August 15th, when all of the Alice in Wonderland stuff launches. Let me know below if you're going to be ordering anything. I'm very, so excited. Uh, they have the warmer this year that is new. I'll definitely be buying that. So when that comes in, it will take that spot. And um, the wax, love the wax. Anyway, getting off subject. Okay, the rest of my licensed six pack is True Love Awaits. And this is Raspberry Mandarin Vanilla. And I really like this. It's a It's kind of almost a juvenile type of scent, but it's berries and vanilla, like a real good creaminess to those berries, but a really sweet, yeah, a sweet berry with just a hint of that mandarin to kind of brighten it up a little bit, I think. Then I've got Oh Boy, and this is grapefruit, clementine, and vanilla. So this is a little more on the like um, citrus side. I really like this one. I wish it was stronger. It's very nice. It's kind of a, a bright clementine with maybe a little bit of um, grapefruit tartness in there. Oh, sorry. Next one is totally mini. This is pink melon hibiscus blooms and apple. And this one is a very beautiful, I don't know that I would call this juvenile, because I could see adults using this too, but it is really beautiful, kind of a little bit of floral and a little apple. I guess I get a little, it says pink melon. I'm not sure what pink melon would be, but um, yeah. It's a girly scent. We'll just put it that way. A light, girly, little uh, little fruity, little citrus. Very nice. Okay. Now, for all of the non-licensed bars, like I said, I'm going to try to go through this um, quickly. <laughs> but I do want to give you the scent notes and maybe quickly thoughts on it. Apple and cinnamon sticks. This is apple peel, white pumpkin, and a touch of oak. And yes, I get all of those. I like that touch of oak in the background on this one, which is funny because one of the newer scents that has like, I think acorn and oak in it, I don't really, it's not one of my favorites, but I like this combination. Um, and you know, you would think it's really heavy on the cinnamon and it's definitely there. It's definitely noticeable, um, but not like overly done, I don't think. And I tend to be pretty sensitive on the cinnamon stuff. So apple cherry strudel. This is Granny Smith cherry and vanilla. And this is a really good cherry scent with brightness from that apple. I don't really get any kind of strudel or, you know, crust type note. Really like this. Um, it is known to be a decent performer, but very short life, like, you know, four hours and it's done. Now we've got Arctic Kiss. This is cool arctic mint and fresh air. Embrace the warm warmth of fluffy clouds. Watery green, sprinkle, sparkling melon, cool mint, fresh air accord, warm amber, and fluffy vanilla. Mmm. I love this, but you know, warm, that, that melon note in here is a little much for me. It's not coming out of the bar. Mmm. Yeah. I do like it. It's good. Um, I did not like buy tons of the bricks, and I'm glad I didn't. It's just, I can take it in small doses, I guess. Autumn Hearth. This is Apple Cinnamon Tonka. 
So to me anyway, this cinnamon is a little stronger, but it is a nice blend. So no pumpkin here, it's apple, cinnamon, and, and tonka vanilla. It's nice, it's, you know, definitely spicy. I don't know that I would warm that all the time. Autumn Sunset, this is apple, pumpkin, fall leaves, and spices, a top 10 fragrance. So yeah, this is your typical, you know, to me a lot of these with the cinnamon in it are like typical art and craft store type cinnamon smells, potpourri. And I think this is exactly what they, <laughs> this is exactly like walking into a craft store. And I have three of the new black, black currant and plum. And this is dark plum, black currant and apple. And this is like a body care type scent. You do get all of those. It's a very deep, dark, like fall body care scent. Mm. I really like this. I wish it was a little stronger, warm, but it's nice. I, obviously, I bought three of them. Next, another new one for this season is or for this catalog, Blackberry Spice. And this is blackberry, cedar wood, and clove. And uh, I like this. It's just warming it to my nose for some reason. It's very light. Um, I do get Obviously, I think blackberry is, you know, a good, say, 60% of this. And then that clove and cedar wood are, to my nose, about equal. Blue Grotto. This is one of the spring-summer scents that stayed with us for fall-winter. Tropical notes, sweet citrus, and lush botanicals. I think this is very similar to... Um, Blue Capri Volcano Candle. You know, it's that good citrus scent with a little bit of tropical kind of to it. Very nice. I don't, honestly, I don't know if I've ever warmed this one before. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Blue Sage and Tonka. This was brand new last year. It is Sage, Lavender, and Tonka Bean. And this is beautiful. I mean, I could see this in a body care and worn by men and women. That sage is not super overpowering or super green either. Very nice with that lavender and that tonka bean. Bright Cider Life. Spiced Harvest Cider, Luscious Pumpkin, and Red Apple. So when this first came out in the Harvest Collection, was it 20, I think 2020, um, I got a bar at the very end, I think, like right before it was going away. And I loved it, and I put it in my club. But then when I warmed it, my husband was like, Ugh, I don't like it. So I took it out of my club, and then I was like, what did I do? <laughs> Why did I do that? Anyway, so I'm glad that it has returned in the last two, you know, last year's fall and winter and this year. Um, very nice. I don't know how to describe this, but it's not cinnamony or clove. I get apple, pumpkin. To me, it does not have the spice. It has more sweetness, almost like a graham cracker kind of note to it. Maybe my nose is going rogue, but maybe that's coming in from the pumpkin. Anyway, very nice. It, it could be, I could see it as an 
you know, an actual bakery scent. I think it's actually in fruity. Yes. I could see it actually in a bakery scent. I could see it in fruity. Um, I could also see this in body care. You know, one of those like edible type scents that could be body care. Anyway, let's talk about that one scent. <laughs> All right, caramel apple craze, caramel apple craze, however you want to say it. This is caramel, sweet red, delicious apples, and vanilla. This is very similar to Bath and Body Works, um, Cider Lane? No. Um, well, it is similar to Cider Lane, but it's more similar to, is it Boardwalk? No. Oh, shoot. One of the ones that comes out in the summer that's, I want to say like a fair type name, Boardwalk or something. Anyway, very nice. I'm not a huge bakery lover, but this one, I really do enjoy it. Really do. And each year, I'm actually liking it more and more. So maybe I am becoming a little bit more of a bakery lover. <laughs> Okay, cashmere and corduroy. I think this was a brand new one as well last year. Um, creamy vanilla, 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 Sicilian bergamot and cashmere sandalwood. This is definitely like a cozy blanket type scent. Um, ooh, another one that's hard to get out of here. Okay. Um, a great cozy scent. When I warmed it last year, I wasn't like super in love with it. I don't think I even bought a second bar. But, I mean, on cold, I really like this. Maybe it's growing on me too. Cedar Cider. This is a, an oldie but a goodie. Um, this, I think, came out in 2014 originally. This is apple, cinnamon stick, vanilla bean, and white cedar. And what you get most of is what's in the name. The cedar and some cider. Not specifically like the cinnamon and apple separately, but a cider with those blended and like cooked together with that cedar. Very nice. I like it. Cider Mill. This is, I'm sure, uh, has to be a bestseller, I would think. Um, oh, sorry, I was focusing on getting the camera to focus. And Okay, apples, pumpkin, simmering spices. I feel like a lot of the fall winter scents are apple, pumpkin, and spice. <laughs> Just done in, you know, slightly different ways. This is a fan favorite, I think. I, I'm not sure I can get behind the spices in this one. But a lot of people love this scent. It's kind of your quintessential fall spice. A lot of people say it's just pumpkins and apples. I get more spice. We're all different. Cinnamon buttercream. I think this was another new one last year. Italian buttercream, creamy mascarpone scooped over cinnamon cake. And I just watched my friend Marcy Waxy's video. Her, um, what does she call it? Sat Cincy Saturday or since Saturday maybe. And she talked about this one and. She was right on. This is a, you get a lot of buttercream mascarpone here. And a cinnamon cake. Not necessarily cinnamon, but cinnamon cake. Very good. Check out her um, channel if you have not already. Cozy Cardigan. Another cozy type of scent. Soft suede blushing rose and amber silk. So this one, the difference in this and cashmere and corduroy, 
to me, this one has a distinct rose scent, but if you're not a rose lover, don't let that um, deter you from this one. It is so good. That soft suede with that, you know, very gentle rose is beautiful. New one this year, Cran Apple Crumble. This is Cran Apple Brown Sugar and Whipped Cream. Very similar to Minos as Caramel Apple Craze that we just talked about. This one does, to me, have a lot more creaminess to it. And also that bright tartness from Cranberry. So I really like both of them. I don't know which one I like more. <laughs> All right, Dancing Sugar Plums. This is Spiced Plums, Vanilla, and Cinnamon Apple. This is a beautiful body care type scent. Mostly sugar plum, I would say, sugar and plum. Some apple, teeny tiny bit of vanilla. I mean, not vanilla, cinnamon. Very nice, good scent. If you like those dark, fruity kind of fall scents. Fairy Tale Pumpkin. Pumpkin, raspberry, sorry, midnight black raspberry and a whisper of black licorice. This was a scent of the month last year, I guess. Yes, in October of last year. This was kind of a hit or miss with people, but this one is very unique. That's what it has going for it. I do get a little bit of that licorice note, but it's way, way in the background and it blends to my nose really well with mostly pumpkin and then a sweet raspberry note in there. I kind of like it. It's not something I would warm probably more than once a year. Um, but yeah, it's unique enough, you know, that it's just different from anything I've smelled before. A new one this year, Falling Apples. This is an orchard lined with crisp apple, acorn, and oak. So this is the one I was saying had the oak note that I'm not crazy about in this. And maybe it's more the acorn note I don't like. But yeah, I was hoping for more apple, less wood type notes. And to me, there's almost slightly more wood type notes than there is apple. Farm stand pumpkin, fresh apple, cinnamon stick, pumpkin, and caramel. Wait, what? Is that right? <laughs> I feel like that's not right, but maybe it is. Here I go again. Got to look it up. That was on, I was reading off my spreadsheet, but you know, things happen. Yeah, that's right. Fresh apple, cinnamon stick, pumpkin, and caramel. Caramel. I don't know, I guess I say it both ways. So this is mainly a pumpkin, majority pumpkin. Maybe a little redness from the apple. A little sweetness from the caramel. I don't know that I really get any cinnamon. And I like just a pumpkin scent. And this is just a little more sophisticated with that little bit of apple and caramel. Just to bring out this, you know, nuances of the pumpkin. I like that one. First day of fall is... Pumpkin, Autumn Woods, Nutmeg, Cinnamon. So, last night when I was sniffing all these, I mean, I've smelled 
them all, I think, before. But, of course, when I'm taking them out, you know, of the box, I'm sniffing them all. I got a lot of cinnamon in this. And I was thinking, I don't remember this having that much cinnamon. And today, I'm not getting much cinnamon. I can get that nutmeg and cinnamon. Anyway. You know, smelling something from one day to the next is can be a surprise too. <laughs> Not just your nose changing over time, but you know, smell different things on different days. Okay, next one, and I got a total of five. Can you guess what it is? <laughs> it is frosted vanilla sweet vanilla bean, birch bark, and frosty air. Oh, I love this. It's reminiscent of Bath & Body Works Marshmallow Fireside. A little bit more of that birch note than what Marshmallow Fireside has. And add a little bit of the frosty air note. Um, supposedly that is peppermint, but I hate peppermint. <laughs> but I love this. If it's peppermint in there, it's not well, distinct as peppermint to my nose. Mm, mm, mm. I may be ordering more when I place my order Monday for um, Alice in Wonderland. Okay. Next little step. Graham Cracker Crunch. Graham Cracker Peanut Butter Creamy Vanilla Bean. And this is an amazing scent. It is like peanut butter and graham cracker. A very creamy whipped peanut butter with graham cracker. Oh man, that's good. Harvest Blessings, Apple, Spiced Pumpkin, Smooth Oak. So this is like a pumpkin with a little bit of oak and apple. That's the order I would say I get them in. A little bit of the spiced pumpkin first. Yeah, then apple and oak. Mm. It's nice. It's not super uh, spicy, so I think I can handle that. Huckleberry Hideaway, a new one. This um, catalog, brand new. Huckleberry Mountain Violet, crisp white woods. So definitely, this is a huckleberry scent first and foremost. Kind of like, <laughs> to me, the scent profile is almost like a blueberry and a grape mixed together. And then a tiny, tiny bit of floral from that violet and a tiny bit of woods. Um, I wasn't super impressed with this one, warm, but I do like it. I am going to give it, you know, another go. Next, hug in a mug. I mean, this is like, I think, our only coffee scent which has no coffee, but anyway, it's chocolate, hazelnut, and cookie dough. Yeah, cookie dough. So I guess it's more supposed to be, not coffee, but um, chocolate. And it is, and I get all of those notes, mainly chocolate and cookie dough to my nose with a tiny bit of hazelnut, um, like spread, if you will. So do we even have a coffee one? in this catalog. Do we have, we have Mocha Doodle maybe. Maybe I already have one of those bars so I didn't order one. Cause I don't think I have that here. Anyway, I don't wanna hold up the video. So next is Iced Pine. And if I'm not mistaken, this is, yes, green fir, pine, and peppermint. Yeah. Not for me. It's got peppermint. Noticeably peppermint. I can smell it from here. 
Oh, and yeah, it's got the, I would say pine and peppermint is what I get. This one, though, I think this was new last year. Let's see. A scent of the month in November last year. Thank you for bringing this back to the catalog, Scentsy. Icicles and Evergreen. This is Cool Blue, Eucalyptus, Pine Needle, and Crystallized Sugar. And I get all of that. It's got the sweetness, but it is pine and eucalyptus. And you know what's weird is when this came out as the scent of the month, I bought some. I didn't like it. But I love that type of scent. So I was like, how do I not like this? This year? Mm hmm. Woo, love it. Um, this one will probably go in my club if, when, or if it retires in spring, summer. Um, yeah. Sorry, I can't stop smelling it. <laughs> Next stack. Actually, let me do a little adjustment so I don't have to reach so far here. I apologize. I'll be done. Ooh. I'm trying to keep all of these in order because I, <laughs> once I get done with the video, obviously I'll need to put all these up and I want to leave them in alphabetical order like I have them. We'll talk more about what I have planned for these in a little bit. Maple apple bourbon. Red apple, rich maple, holiday spirit with a splash of bourbon. And, I mean, I didn't even have it open completely and I could smell the maple coming off this thing. I wish they would tone down that maple so I could smell the apple and bourbon. But I do get the apple and a little bit of a bourbon note. But for me, that maple. But that's because also maple just is one of those scents that I don't mind it in teeny tiny um, doses. But when it's done, I guess, a little more than a teeny tiny dose, I can, it smells like it takes over everything to me. mystery man warm white cedar green verbena and citrusy bergamot in perfectly spiced sensual fragrance yeah so this is a woodsy masculine cologne body wash type scent a little bit of citrus in there as well it's nice I'm just not huge into the masculine type cologne scents Orchard Apple and Spice. This was, I think, in our Harvest Collection. Yes, last year. And Ripe Orchard Apple, Bright Cherry, and Warm Spices. So, I feel like when I got this in the Harvest Collection, the spices took over the whole dang thing. I couldn't smell the apple. <laughs> But this year, I can definitely get the apple and the cherry. But you know what? Oh, look at that. It's already stained. I was wondering. Ooh, I can. Aha. Now I know why. So, if you don't know, sometimes you can see the... Um, pour date inside of these it's really hard to see but sometimes it's more visible than others this was poured august 24th of 2021 so this is you know was poured for last harvest collection but maybe those spices simmered down a little bit from when i smelled it you know as a new pour basically Hmm. Interesting. Perfect day. This is a new in this catalog. Autumn pear spiced syrup and a splash of bourbon. And this, 
I have mixed feelings about this. Um, I do get the pair note. I get some like spiced syrup, I guess, and a bourbon note, but something, and it could be the pear, it kind of does that to me sometimes, it just has a weird note to it, but I want to give it another chance, it, I mean, I feel like this would be a great one, you know, I want to, I want to, you know, give it another chance, try it some more and see how it does, pomegranate prosecco, this is rose berry, pomegranate, and the pink prosecco. And this, I think, was a brand new one last year, yes. And I really like it. You do get like a rose with an added pomegranate note in there. Yeah. It kind of, at least for me, I wonder when this was poured. Can I see? No. Nope. Um, when it was poured, because I feel like my bars that I had of the pomegranate Prosecco last year, I, that tart note from the pomegranate came out more and more the, the longer that it cured. I feel like this might be a newer pour though because that tart note is not like super in your face. Next is pumpkin cinnamon swirl. And this is pumpkin cinnamon stick dollop of whipped icing. So this is another one like in previous years I'm like why do they put so much cinnamon in this stuff? I can't smell anything else but the cinnamon. But you know what? This year, I can. And I get very little cinnamon, actually. I would say very little, but enough to be there, but be more like when it's baked and what you get when it's baked. And I don't see a poor date on this one either, but yeah, I might like this this year. So maybe my nose is just slightly changing on like cinnamons and spices and bakery type scents. Because I'm not getting all the cinnamon that I used to. Pumpkin roll. Creamy pumpkin pie. Yellow cake. Pecan. Butter. And spice. Okay. See, here, I don't get much spice at all. I get pumpkin and the yellow cake. Maybe a touch of spice. Some butter. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, these are smelling different to me this year. Okay. Some of them, anyway. Salted caramel toffee. Uh, salted caramel toffee butterscotch. This is one of those ooey, gooey, cloyingly, sweet caramel type of scents. To me, toffee almost has like a burnt note to it. And I kind of get that here. And again, I don't know if you can tell, but this is already turning colors. Are these from last year? I bet some of these are from last year. Scarlet Sunflower. I believe this one was new last year. Yep. Uh, Apple Cranberry Scarlet Sunflower. This is a beautiful, I would say floral. They have it in fruity, but so I, I can get it in fruity as well. It does have quite a bit of that apple and cranberry. Beautiful. I, okay. I love that they are bringing scents to us that are not just cinnamon, apple, and pumpkin. Um, 
to me, there's six months covered in this catalog, and there's so many more scents that need to be covered. Um, not to mention all, you know, we're all kind of in varied environ, like weather environments, you know. So those in Canada that are going to start melting pumpkin like any day now, I'm not really ready for that. Um, and won't be until like October because it's still super hot here and it's just, I'm not even thinking about pumpkins until October. So I love that they're doing this. Um, you know, even with all the nuisance that we had, they're kind of spreading their wings, you know, and going outside the pumpkin apple cinnamon box. <laughs> And giving us different things. And I love that. You know, there's six months we're covering half a year in the catalog. And to me, only, you know, two months are pumpkin scents, really, for me at least. And I know I'm not the only one. Anyway, this is a beautiful floral with that apple and cranberry. So good. Very good. This was a scent of the month last year. And in September. This is pumpkin puree, cinnamon, butterscotch, and vanilla. A lot of people love this. This is way too cinnamon pumpkin for me with added sweetness. I do like the butterscotch note in here, but I think my issue with this scent is it's too much cinnamon. I would like to smell more butterscotch, less cinnamon. Um, and I think last year I got more cinnamon than I'm getting this year too. But it's nice. It's just not my kind of scent. Oh, guess what I just noticed and you probably already did too. This has a scent of the month sticker on it. This came in my August 1st order. Uh, anyway, so this was definitely poured. Oh, I can see it. I can, it's, sometimes it's this way and sometimes it's this direction. This time it's the other direction, August 26th of 2021. Yeah. Sorry if you hear my dog back there. He's in his little cubby. Silver Bells. This is mint candy cane, stand silver, warm and welcoming winter pear with a velvety blanket of caramel and vanilla sugar. This is a very unique scent. Yes, there's peppermint, but that pear and caramel and vanilla sugar really sweeten it up and make it smell slightly different to my nose. I like this. I don't love it. But it's a peppermint that I can handle. But I do get peppermint, you know. But I can handle this one because of all those added sweetness and, you know, make it a little more jazzing it up a little bit. Sips of Cider, another new one for this catalog. Lively Blood Orange Sparkling Ginger Cinnamon Stick. It's de definitely blood orange is what I get first. With ginger right behind it. And some cinnamon stick. Some little cinnamon stick thrown in. Yeah, it's nice. I don't know that it will be a favorite of mine, but I can definitely see people that like those orange and ginger scents really liking that one. Tinselberry, strawberry and cranberry dipped in cinnamon with sweet sugar and a little extra sparkle. So this was new to the catalog last year. I love the strawberry note in here mixed with that cranberry. I think last year they must have gotten a deal on the cranberry scent oil because it's like they were putting it with everything they could kind of think of. <laughs> but I like this. Um, warm 
at least last year, that cinnamon came out more to my nose than I like. But the cranberry strawberry combo, yes. Love it. Toasted acorn and oak. This is toasted acorn, chestnut, oak. This was in the Harvest Collection last year. If I could get to it easier, I would pull out falling apples because that woodsy note that it has is very similar to this. But if that's the case, then I could just mix this with Johnny Appleseed and we could replace falling apples with something else. I may try that with Johnny Appleseed. And it's also already turning colors. August 16th of 2021 is when this one was poured. So I'm starting to see why maybe some of these came back, but surely that's not why, right? Why would they bring them back just to get rid of the current stock? if they weren't popular. But why, if they were popular, is their stock still from August of last year? Maybe a lot of people put it in their club so they did not load as much into a flash sale or, or clearance. So they ended up having extra even though it, was, it did sell a lot. Don't you wish sometimes you could like know all the little details of why they choose what they choose and things like that? Okay, next, Vanilla Cinnamon Maple. This one was in a brick last year. In a way, I'm surprised it's back, but in another way, I'm not. Uh, this is Cinnamon Stick Buttery Maple and Whipped Sweet Cream. So this on cold, I really like. Even with that maple note, it wasn't super strong in this scent. I got a lot more of that whipped cream with it. Warm, it came out a little more. Who knows if now that I'm getting into the you know bakery type stuff I might like this just in the kitchen I'm not putting bakery in my living room or anywhere else in my house but yeah maybe this year I'll like that a little more I have a habit of doing that sorry velvet moon I got three this is one of the brand new scents for this season. I mean, for this catalog. It's Vanilla Flower White Musk Foggy Mist. This is a scent I, I think on cold. I'm not sure that I would really like, but warm. I have warmed this. <sighs> that Vanilla Flower can be a little powdery at first, but it does kind of die down on the powderiness. And that white musk and whatever the foggy mist note is, there's like a fresh air note that comes out in this warmth that I love mixed with that vanilla flower. Mm -hmm. I think my two favorites out of the 10 brand new scents have to be Frosted Vanilla and Velvet Moon. The more I warm everything, I think that's where I'm landing, in, you know, with my two favorites in the 10 new ones. Very Merry Cranberry. Winter Berries, Snow Covered Cedar, and a win lovely winter, create a lovely winter landscape. This is nice. You get cranberries, right? They're not super tart. Um, it's almost like they're brightened up with apple, maybe. 
some cedar with um, whatever makes them snow covered, I guess. Yeah, this is very nice cranberry, slight, just a hint of woods in there, cool type scent almost. Very snowy spruce. This has come back for quite a while. I'm looking back. It was a scent of the month, November of 2014, and has returned in every catalog, fall winter catalog since. This is forest air, balsam, spruce, cedar branches, pine cones. I like green tree scents. The pine cones, I think, in this. I can't take it. Um, it's like you're smelling a perfumey wooden stick. <laughs> yeah. Nope. A lot of people love it, obviously. It's been back, like I said, since 2014. It's a good scent. Don't get me wrong. Okay. We are on the home stretch last three wax bars. And then I'll talk about what I'm doing with all these. White, amber, and silk. This is another new one in this current catalog. And it is ooh, ooh, warm amber bergamot comforting cotton. So, I think maybe the amber note is just too much for me. It's a beautiful scent, though. Kind of, um, kind of like, you know, a, a comfy blanket that's just been washed in, like, a good laundry. But warm for me, I don't know. I think the amber note just comes out, and my nose is like, what is that? That's a no. White, amber, and teak. This is brand new from the spring summer catalog that came, that stayed with us for the fall winter one. Amber and teak with fresh bergamot. So this is your typical mahogany teak wood from Bath and Body Works. Very heavy cologne type of scent. Not, to me, this type of scent is not sophisticated. It's a basic woodsy masculine cologne scent. Nothing to me that's fancy, you know, oops, that sets it apart really from a lot of other masculine scents and the great scent winterberry apple tea i i don't know that i've heard anyone say that they don't like this scent this is winter tea cozies up to cranberry apple and honey mm, 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 mm. yes you get like a tea note a cranberry tea with some apple sweetness from the honey not necessarily much warmness from that honey like honey can give yeah it's more of I would say not super bright not really warm you know heavy right in the middle tea scent cranberry tea yeah nice okay so that's all for the wax bars but I still have some other products so stay for that but I do want to talk real quick why I got all of these bars that some of them I don't even like. <laughs> so I, oh gosh, about two months ago had been thinking about a recipe type series that I would like to do for our wax. I want to focus though on catalog scents, only catalog scents. So, no collections, no limited time offers, no flash sale, no retired scents, none of that. It will be all active, current catalog scents that all of us can get our hands on. So, I'm going to, I don't want to give a whole lot of information, 
because I'm still kind of thinking about um, the logistics of how I'm going to do it. But I'm going to focus actually on one scent each week to mix with other scents in the catalog. I will be focusing first on the 10 brand new scents in the catalog this year and mixing them with other scents um, to come up with recipes. And yeah, so I think I, I will probably plan on starting that at the beginning of September. So keep an eye out. Um, I don't wanna you know, give you too much information, but it will be September. Um, a recipe type, you know, series focusing on catalog scents alone. So stay tuned for that and let's get moving to some other products. I got um, just a few other things and let me scroll down in my... Doo -doo -doo. Okay, so we had some new things launch. Actually, first, rewards. I will never pay $10 for a bag of these, but I'll get them half price, maybe. But free, for sure. <laughs> um, I got some cotton cleanups. I got marshmallow buttercream oil. And I think I've probably mentioned before, I don't usually diffuse oils. I have an idea that I want to try with this as well. I'm not getting much there, which is what I was afraid of, but <laughs> I've also mentioned before that I don't, a lot of times the vanilla scents like sugar cookie, vanilla bean buttercream. I have a hard time smelling for some reason. Um, and I'm not really getting much. I get a little bit from this, but not much. So that's a little bit of a bummer. I was hoping the oil might be different. Um, travel twist. Sorry, I have a bin here. I should put it in my lap, I guess. Uh, travel twist. I got two. I figured I would try like one like notoriously strong scent. This is Scentsy Clean. Nope, they have this in Clean Breeze, my bad. Um, this is White Florals with a Touch of Spring. It's a fresh, clean laundry type scent and it is notoriously a good performer in all the products. This is a new product this season just want to show you know kind of how it all looks why is it not focusing there we go it's got the sticker on the back saying what scent that is and inside you can twist Ooh. Ah. okay so there is like a little notch that locks this in place closed so that's good good to know so you can open this a little bit you can open it a lot and I think I just pulled it apart when I was twisting it just out of curiosity so there's like a felt pad inside of it with the um, fragrance oils I guess interesting snap that back together promise I did not do that on purpose and apparently it has to be in a certain spot to snap closed <laughs> I can't get it back on there okay don't try this at home because I can't get it back on now I mean, I didn't mean to do it to begin with, so it just kind of popped uh, loose 
when I was twisting it. Anyway, I'm going to have to take some more time to figure that out. But also got uh, Black Raspberry Vanilla. This is a classic Scentsy scent. Same thing here. And twist it to open. <laughs> Doing this backwards, I guess, is part of the problem. Yeah. So I th it looks like it's just a felt pad with the um, scent in there. And right now, opening this, just showing you this black raspberry vanilla, I can smell it. So I do want, excuse me, wonder how compared to the um, like travel tins. I have not bought a travel tin in probably 12 years. <laughs> I gave them a try a long time ago. Wasn't that impressed, so never really bought them any um, anymore. But okay, so that's the two travel twists that I got. We'll see how those do. Um, I'm gonna put one in like a bathroom closet and one in like a laundry, ham not hamper, but cabinet. It's a laundry cabinet, we'll call it that, okay. And got some bulbs, you know, just needed some backup bulbs there. And then they launched I mean, if you can't tell, can, are they showing? Not really. If you can't tell, I'm a fan of Winnie the Pooh. And they launched some Winnie the Pooh stuff. The first thing is in pod form now, we've got 100 Acre Woods. This is Cotton Blossom, Jasmine, and Cozy Vanilla. I gotta say, it smells a little different in the pod. And it's very, very light. That's why I got just one. I'm not sure how well it's going to actually work. This is so cute. Okay show you the box. Winnie the Pooh Scentsy Wall Fan Diffuser with light. So cute. And you know, packaging is always done to the T. It's always on point. <laughs> this is bigger than I thought it was going to be. But I love him. He's adorable. So this will, if you don't know, I guess I need to, these pods that I mentioned are our waxless scent system that go in many different forms of fans. This is one of them. There's a fan in there. If you can see that, you plug it in, fan turns on beads are here air goes through you get sent out the top we have multiple uh, forms of these fan diffusers to use the pod system with one is just a little disc that sit that plugs into a USB so it can be used in your car or like plug it into your laptop while you're working one is um, a rechargeable like travel on the go type system. There's two versions of that. And then maybe another version we'll talk about in a second. Okay, so I love him. I love him. He may take Chip's spot right there. Um, undecided yet where he's going, but that's really the only plug in here that shows Anyway, I'll have to think about that. And, okay, okay. Let me 
get this stuff out of the way so I can show you the largest system that goes with that fan, I mean with those pods, is I finally did it. I got an air purifier from Cincy. Um, I've talked about them before, but let's go ahead and open this up. I actually, as you know, a lot of times when I buy stuff and I'm showing y'all hauls, I already have them open. But I started opening that and doing that with this one and realized, you know, usually you think, okay, well, that's a decent size box. It'll be a decent size air purifier, you know, because if you're going to move air and clean it, it has to move through the filters and it has to be a decent size to do a decent job, right? Anyway, so I was opening it and wow, already right here, we're a couple inches in before we even get to the foam plug, of course. I haven't gone beyond this. I just stopped at that point. There we go. Can I pull this out by this? There we go. I mean, I love that they're doing this. However, I do hear from others on um, YouTube that this system, by the way, is meant to go with the scent pods as well. Scent pods I showed you drop in right here on top. Air goes in around here, around the bottom sides, goes out here. But I wondered how well these were going to work as far as scent in the room for multiple reasons. One being the air has all this other room to escape, whereas in all the other systems, it has to go through the pods to escape. Um, to go into the air. Here, there's, you know, other room to, that it could easily just go around it. Aerodynamics, it'll go around <laughs> those, maybe. So that might be why people are getting, you know, little, um, or not well, good performance on those. And you'll see it has a sticker here. It tells us, to remove the filter packaging before using. So let's go ahead and do it. This, um, so I've, I've been using air purifiers for a long time because of allergies where I live. It's just high in allergies for multiple reasons, but, um, and, <clears throat> I had not seen this in person. Seeing it on YouTube is not the same as seeing it in person. Finally saw it in person at a uh, like flea market deal, trade days that we went to, and I was shocked at how small it is. Um, <laughs> forgot I had the pods in the top. So this just twists and pops. Um, twists loose, I guess is the word. Here is the, to give you size reference, here is the um, replacement or the filter. Not much bigger than my hand. So in my experience and research and using of um, air purifiers, I mean, depending on how well you want it to work, you know, you have to take into consideration certain things. The more air it can move, the faster it can move the air, the more it's going to clean it. But yes, obviously this has the in, oh, I just went blank. <laughs> um, I'm not going to say what came to mind because it has nothing to do with the air purifiers. It's a different product. Uh, okay. 
Well, shoot. H13. <laughs> okay. So it takes H13. So that's good. Yes, absolutely. Most um, air purifiers have a black layer either on the outside or the inside that is a carbon filter and that is for scent to remove odors. So that's why they left it off of this. Obviously, we're not trying to remove odors necessarily, which is part of what could be bothering you if you're having problems, but either way. Um, so that goes in the bottom. Actually, before I put that, see if I can give you a shot of the size of, you might can see it, the fan that's in there and the size of the hole and you know so this when this goes in the hole is completely in the center it's got the foam to kind of seal it so all that's good I'm by no means an expert I'm not saying I am I'm just familiar with air purifiers before since he came out with one You'll see on the bottom uh, a lock and unlock there. Yeah. So, what I got this for actually. So, mm, do I want to show you? I'm not going to show you the brand name, I guess, but. I do want to show you the air purifier I have in this room. So it's not that big compared to many other air purifiers. In comparison. So I know that Scentsy says it there that the Scentsy air purifier can be up to 200 square feet but if you look into other air purifiers they say up to so many square feet but when you're talking the maximum square feet on the most efficient use of it that's on high and that's all the time 24 hours a day um, and I would think most people don't run any air purifier on high 24 hours a day. So take that with what you will. I'm not an expert. I did get this. I do have a use for this. I was not going to get it. It's to me, the price is steep um, for the size and the, what it um, for the size of room that it can do. But I do have a use. I always, when we travel, bring an air purifier with me. So any little size difference helps when you're traveling. And as you can see, even though the other white cylinder shaped um, <clears throat> air, purifier, air purifier that I use, I have that brand, that style in two of the rooms and the rest of the rooms I have larger, um, mm, they're not cylinders like that. I guess it's more of a cube shape, rectangle. Anyway, um, <clears throat> where was I going with that? Anyway, so for travel. You know, this thing is small enough. I can easily take it traveling with us, put it in the room we're in, put it on high, <laughs> and, you know, get a little benefit of the cleaner air, the sound when I'm traveling, and yeah. So that's why I ended up getting it. 
I am going to try it in one of the rooms, I think, for the first, uh, <clears throat> for the first filter. When I change out the filter, though, or when I get a new filter, I'm, I'm just setting this aside for a travel. And I can bring my Scentsy Pods and have a little bit of scent with me, maybe, right? I'm not going to go over all the buttons here and how to do things. There's plenty of other videos on that. I just wanted to show y'all this and in kind of comparison to what I have in my home. Um, you know, if, if you're having allergy problems, sinus issues, you know, that kind of problem, I'm going to be honest, the Scentsy air purifier is not the way to go. Um, but if you just, you know, want a little help with dust and maybe a little bit of added scent in your room, then it's it's a good way to go. Um, by the way, I didn't mention also. So this full price is $250. And to use Hostess Rewards, you have to have a five at least a $500 party that gives you three half price rewards and you have to use all three half price rewards to get half off of this. So I had a $500 party that I closed out. I used those three half priced um, hostess rewards to get this and still had to pay $125 dollars for it that did not count towards the party um the ones that i have and i love and that are also in 13 uh, h13 i keep getting that in the masks confused the h13 filters are also what is in this other cylinder larger cylinder that i showed you that i have in my home already um it is a hundred dollars, ninety nine dollars plus tax. No additional spending needed. Um, anyway, just leave that as it is. So I am going to enjoy this. I will let you know how it does in my home. And then after that, after this first filter goes out, I'm going to, like I said, save it, you know, put a new one in it and save it for travel only because of its petite size. So, I hope you enjoyed that. Give me a likey and subscribey if you have not already, and I will see you in the next video. It will be on Wednesday, my weekly wax meltdown that I do on Wednesdays, going over what I have melted in the last week. I hope everyone has a great weekend, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.